My name is Dr. Noval Zakaria. We are at the Disinfection Unit at the Sin Institute of Advanced Endoscopy and Gastroenterology. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Farhan Ayawad. I'm in charge of disinfection in charge. Step 1. Pre-clean the scope. The procedural room is where the reprocessing starts. It is essential to begin pre-cleaning as soon as the patient's insertion tube is removed since this helps to stop any biofilm from forming. If the leftover dirt isn't cleared right away, it may dry up and remain contaminated. Wipe the insertion tube, flush water and air through the channels and soak in detergent solution to prepare for cleaning. Test. This is the second step of reprocessing. You can find any damage to the scope's internal channels and external surface by performing a leak test. If the leak test isn't done and there is internal damage in the scope, this might result in insufficient disinfection and more endoscope damage. Leak testing must be done immediately following pre-cleaned scopes. The third step is manually brushing and flushing. Cleaning the scope manually is an essential part of the disinfection process. The scope needs to be fully submerged in the detergent for this stage to be completed. Now is the time to place the previously separated parts into the container so they may be cleaned. When sanitizing the scope, use a lint-free cloth or soft brush to clean the exterior. Because residual materials can lessen the efficiency of sterilizing procedure, make sure to brush and flush any residue that might be remaining in the channels and ports. Allow the scope and its parts to soak in the detergent for the duration suggested by the manufacturer's instructions. The fourth step is disinfection. As directed by the manufacturer, for appropriate sterilization or high-level disinfection, adhere to the reprocessing instructions. Chemicals and equipment must be examined carefully to apply best disinfection technique. After the scope is submerged in the solution, run the solution through the channels and let it soak for the prescribed amount of time. After soaking, use forced air to get rid of any remaining disinfection. disinfectant. Transfer the scope and components into the container of clean water and then remove the scope and place on a sterile towel. Dry with a lint-free cloth. Flush with alcohol. In order to stop any bacterial growth, flushing the scope with alcohol encourages drying of the channels. Utilizing the suction apparatus, aspirate through the channels with 70% ethanol. Next, utilize compressed forced air to eliminate any leftover alcohol. Lastly, clean the scope's exterior with a lint-free alcohol-soaked cloth before using a cotton swab to dry the port. This is the last but essential step for reprocessing. When storing your scope, hang it uncoiled and in a vertical position. This facilitates drying and prevents recontamination. Make sure there is enough space between the devices to avoid damage by contact. For quality assurance purposes, it is recommended to maintain a thorough documentation through of the entire process. Having the record can be very helpful in certain circumstances, whether it be due to proper disinfection or recall. Thank you.